All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel. Starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel, and Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hope of the elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, this is the brother your call from the GMS branch on Des Moines. I welcome coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harvard Kakwadash. And, um, you know, I had a title in mind uh, of uh, It's Not What You Did, It's What You're Doing. All right, and I don't know if that's what I'm actually titled it. You know, through the Spirit, I was putting different precepts together uh, based off of that. And, um, it was really just going into it. it had me pretty much going into the love of this wisdom all right because at times you know um i know we'll talk you know to um certain of the brothers that's coming up and everything like that and you know we uh we may speak about different stories of you know first coming in that 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 um that great love or that honeymoon stage all right that you have when you first get this wisdom and then it's just you just hot all right you don't give a fuck about nothing else you don't give a damn about the consequences of 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 uh of anything all right as long as you following all right as long as you got this word this treasure all right and and through the spirit you know we have to continue to not only um consider you know where we were in that that same spirit and that same fervency that we once had all right and and making sure that we still have that same fervency all right when we first came in we were unbalanced all right we didn't have uh, as much wisdom and experience so you know we were making decisions that we probably shouldn't have made all right but you didn't care because you was just hot all right certain things that you weren't doing you know or, or that you weren't applying because you didn't necessarily know anything but know as much but we were babes we were hot you was telling everybody telling about how they Israelites and this and that and the third might have been telling your boss at the job and and whatnot you just didn't care all right but it was just that that zeal and that fervency man all right and and there was a lot that, that we uh we may have sacrificed when we first came in all right it could have been relationships that were lost it was opportunities that were lost and everything like that but it didn't matter all right because of that overtaken love that uh that we have for this wisdom all right and we don't want to look back at and and talk about man we did this and we did that man we sacrificed this we sacrificed that all right but then we look at ourselves today and we aren't willing to make those type of same sacrifices all right to where we don't have that same type of love okay to where we don't at one point you didn't care about anything okay it says he that get his wisdom becomes quickly without care and once again these things are in the balance all right but at one point you didn't care about those things you didn't care about the consequences of certain things because of this love that you have for this wisdom all right but then that's lost over time man and yeah i wish i talked about that all right and we're going to grab these different precepts but i just kind of want to set the stage uh, through the spirit but this is the book of proverbs chapter five all right, it ain't about what we did and the sacrifice that we made. It's about what we're doing now. All right, even um, even with King Saul, man. All right, the Lord had told King Saul at one point you was a uh, you was a uh, uh, small in your own eyes. At one point you was humble. All right, you was meek. All right, but now you disobeying my word, man. The Lord told King Saul that, and I believe that's in First uh, Samuel the fifteenth chapter. So at one point, all right, he was on point. Okay, the Lord was pleased with him. All right, but. We see what happened with him and his story, and we don't want to follow that same example. But this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5 and verse 18. It says, um, it says, let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Now, this wisdom is our wife. All right. It talks about that in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the eighth chapter, how King Solomon sought to make wisdom his wife. All right. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. In verse uh, one, it says, wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily and sweetly does she order all things. I loved her and sought her out for my youth. I desired to make her my spouse and I was a lover of her beauty. All right. So this is our wife, this wisdom. OK. You you came in, you see the beauty of it, man. All right. The, the, that love. All right. That fervent, that fervent, hot, zealous desire, man. Where you just forsook everything, man, and didn't even think twice about it, all right? <laughs> didn't even think twice about it. We should have that same energy and that same type of spirit within us just with more control, all right, as we've grown in uh, wisdom, all right? And as we've grown and learned to make wiser decisions and so on and so forth, man. But that love towards this wisdom should still be there, all right? But this is back in Proverbs chapter 8 and verse uh 
18. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and a pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love, man. All right. So it said, let her breast satisfy thee at all times, man. Okay. So this, this should be that woman that you can't, you can't wait to come home to. All right. You might've been working, working all types of hours, man. And all you thinking about is getting back home to her. All right. This house should be with that wisdom. Okay. Just, I can't wait to, to, to get back to the Lord, man. I'm out here working, man. You, even while you at work, you think about these precepts, you think about getting a lesson, man. You sitting there like, man, fuck, I wish I was at home. I can get this lesson in. You know what I'm saying? Different things like that. We should still have that zeal, that love, man. Okay. And at times, hey, you can lose that. Okay. You can lose that over time. All right. Just like with any, uh, any relationship. That's why these different things are being uh, applied unto a, a woman in a relationship. Okay. Because you could relate it, uh, relate it to that carnally, man. All right. It might be a woman at one point you, you, you was, you was hot for. All right. Then over time you get tired of her. All right. Whatever the case it may be, or you get jaded with the relationship. All right. You get bored of it. Okay. These are things that happen in a carnal relationship. And in the spirit, this can happen with uh, different guys. And the example is uh, uh, in the book of Revelation. That's why he told that church. And once again, that church was a body of believers. And Lord's will, I'm going to get to it. All right. But he was telling believers that you've forgotten your first love. Men that were still doing the work, that you have forgotten your first love. You don't have that same zeal, that same love. All right. For me, that you once had, even though you're doing particular things. And that should be a scary feeling. All right. And just even reading uh, those precepts like that should put put fear in us. Like, man, am I am I uh, am I forsaking this, am, or am I losing my love? All right, for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh for that wisdom. All right, to, so because see, being able to acknowledge that, all right, Yahweh Shai can come in and succor and can help. All right, to where you can pray into the Lord and ask Bible Shai increase that love and that zeal. That's why he told that, that that church like, look, repent. He didn't say you was through. Yeah, you fell away from the love that you had once before. He gave them an opportunity that you can turn from that. You can repent, all right? Get that fire back, that zeal back that you once had, man. Focus on me, all right? Keep your eyes upon me, not upon another woman, as it's going to say in this, Proverbs chapter 5 and verse uh, 20. to 19 again, let her be as the loving high and pleasant road. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, all right? And be thou ravished always with her love, all right? And Jake, can, uh, Jake has experienced that. Or right, you might get a, a a chick that you just started talking to, man. All right, be real. You can't wait to hit. All right, and then you might you might uh you might have her. All right, she might be yours, and then you you want to lay up with her all the time. All right, you want to be in bed with her. All right, you already know how it goes down, man. Hot for, her, okay? She hot for you. Y'all just <laughs> y'all just hot. All right, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about her all the time. Uh, up on the phone with her late at night. All right, st staying up through the night, falling asleep on the phone. Jake know how it was. All right, I know Jake got them, them high school things, all right, them stories and things like that. Well, that's how it should be with this wisdom, okay? And that and that's how it is, man. You up late listening to lessons, man. You falling asleep, all right, listening to the lesson. You wake up, you playing it back, all right? You got the precepts open, you reading through chapters, you dozing off, you fighting it, all right? You go to sleep with it, and then you wake up, she's on your mind, man. This is how it's supposed to be with us, all right? This is the, the, the type of attention that the Lord wants towards um towards his wisdom, that type of love, man. Look at how our forefathers speak about this wisdom. Look at how King Solomon is speaking about wisdom, all right? Going back to Wisdom of Solomon, the eighth chapter, look at how he's talking about this, man. Our forefathers were engulfed and loved this, all right? Love this wisdom, okay? They weren't just saying these things to sound nice. Oh, it sounds good. I'm going to be poetic in how I talk about it. All right, it just sounds good. No, they they really felt this. All right, they really had that love for this, and that's what we should have and, and, and show that forth in our actions. It's one thing to say, man, nah, man, I love I love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, I love this wisdom, but it's another thing to show it. All right, it's another thing that hey, let me jump in and grab this. And Salaki, I know I'm speaking a lot. You know, I'm kind of just excited. You know, just even talking about this uh, subject. You know, haven't done the lesson just based off of uh, you know that love for wisdom in a while. All right, but. But this is um the book of wisdom of Solomon. All right, chapter uh seven and verse um uh verse I'm gonna start at verse seven. Wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me, I called upon the most high, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her before scepters and thrones and esteemed riches nothing in comparison of her. Right? So 
This is uh, Salaki. I gotta get a charger for my phone. All right, don't want to uh, go dead. All right, but I'm gonna finish the point, and then I'm gonna grab a charger real, real quick, Lord's will, man. But this is King Solomon talking about how he cared about wisdom more than anything else, man. Okay, and this has to be shown forth in our actions. And how do we show that forth in our actions? It may be opportunity where we we may have a, a, a opportunity to go do something in the flesh. All right, or or or, or anything, right? But instead, we choose wisdom. You know what? Nah, I'm finna lay up with Sophia tonight, all right? This is me and her tonight, you know? I was finna go do this and I'm finna go do that, you know? But nah, it's, uh, I'm finna go, I'm finna go chill, chill with my boo, all right? All right, with Sophia, man. We gotta show these things in our actions, all right? Loving wisdom more than any, uh, any of these other things, man. And I've seen, I've seen the men that I'm around show that for. It's been times where Jake, all right, you know, feeling uneasy in the spirit, man. And it's like, you know what, man, I, I'm, I'm just going to call off work just so I can spend time with Sophia. All right. I want to spend time with her, man. We finna go on a little, a little vacay, two day vacay. All right. Jake ain't going nowhere, but, but nowhere, but diving in the precepts, man. All right. Finna be watching lessons all day. This is the type of love that I've seen the men, uh, men around me show forth, even towards this wisdom, even to this day. I'm not talking about when we first came in. I'm talking about still showing that type of love uh, uh, right now, man. All right? Short, shorty hit up Jake. You know what I'm saying? Trying to link up. Jake got plans. All right, I'm finna go link up with her. All right, later on. But instead, what happens? Jake get into a lesson. All right, Jake, all right, I'm finna finish out this chapter. Then finna go link up. But then the chapter's so hot. And next thing you know, you four chapters deep. All right, supposed to meet up with her an hour ago. <laughs> okay? You ain't even reply, text back. Fuck it. Why? Love this wisdom. Jake is showing these type of sacrifices even to this day, man. You know, and we got to continue to show forth that same type of love and energy. All right, but let me grab a, um, a charger before my phone dies. Give me one second to lock you. Bear with me. Cause if I would have let let this phone die, it wouldn't even have saved the lesson. So that was a risk I was not trying to take. Alright, so like you. Yeah. Alright, but let me get back to the precept. Alright, so this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, um, chapter seven and verse um seven. It says, Wherefore I prayed and understanding was given me, I called upon the most high, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. So this is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, to get this wisdom. The Lord has to give it to you, okay? And just like I'm talking about the love that we have, hey, see, the Lord has given us this love and desire towards him, okay? He's filled us with this love towards this wisdom, man, all right? He could have gave our heart over to, to love this uh, uh, anything in this world more, okay? But he's given our mind over to this, and we got to continue to pray that he does that. Continue to pray that he keeps our mind on this. This is what our forefathers did, all right? Our forefathers, they understood that they were in the flesh. So they prayed unto the Lord that he keeps their mind focused on him, okay? That they keep that love towards him, all right? Towards these precepts. As a matter of fact, all right, let me grab uh, at least one example. I know it's a couple in Psalms 119. I believe it's a couple in Psalms 119. I know it's at least one, though, that uh, stands out to me. All right, but this is uh, Psalms chapter 119 and verse... Uh, Man, uh, I'm, I'm going to jump around. This is Psalms 119 and um, uh, 5. All right, it says, Oh, that my ways... Yeah, it says, Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. So he's praying that the Lord, all right, will direct him to keep his statutes, all right? Direct his mind, all right, on this word, man. This is what they were... This is what the type of prayers that our forefathers uh, were, were putting up, were sending uh, to the Lord, man. Let me jump down. That's not the exact one that I wanted, but um, I'm going to read this one as well. Psalms 119 and 35. It says, uh, verse 34, give me understanding and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments for therein do I delight. Incline mine heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness. So he's like, look, incline my heart to your word. 
all right? Not to covetousness, all right? Not to the things of this world, to covet, uh, what does it say in the book of 1 John, man? It says, all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, all right? Don't give my heart over into that. Give my heart over unto you, okay? Give my heart over into this wisdom to be fully engulfed in your word, to love you, all right? This is what I, the type of uh, mentality that our forefathers had, man, all right? that our forefathers had and that they are showing forth today because they're back. Those same men, all right, are back today with that same love that they have for wisdom, man. Back then that we're reading about, they still have that today. It says, um, let me see, man. I, I, I'm sure, uh, man, I'm going to grab this one. Psalm chapter 119 and 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. So they took this as a delight, all right? This, these words, this wisdom, they delighted in this, man. It's sweet as honey, okay? But just to show you how our forefathers were comparing this, this, this wisdom into things that they love, man, all right? How they were engulfed in it, you know? And we should show that same type of energy, but I'm not going to... Uh, uh, Go through more. There's a couple more in that chapter, but I want to read back in this wisdom of Solomon. All right. And I'm really just kind of moving through the spirit on it. I really got like uh, two more precepts. I definitely want to hit if the spirit allows. But, you know, just falling in the spirit. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven and verse uh, uh, eight. It says, I preferred her before scepters and thrones and esteemed riches, nothing in comparison of her. Neither compared I unto her any precious stone, because all gold and respect of her is as little sand, and silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above health and beauty, and chose to have her instead of light, for the light that cometh from her never goeth out. He said, I loved her before health and beauty, man. Okay? He's like, man, I, this is how engulfed and, and, and engulfed he was with his wisdom. Okay? We got it. We, we, we should be showing the same type of energy. All right? Towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Rashad, man, who is our wisdom ultimately. But it says, um, as it says in the book of, uh, I believe it's in 1 Corinthians a couple times, man, you know. But Yahweh Bashem is our wisdom. All right. It says how he's the wisdom, uh, uh, the wisdom of the Most High, you know. So this is ultimately our love towards his wisdom as I love towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Rashad. All right. It says, um, it says, verse 11, all good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoiced in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. I learned diligently and to communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches for she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use become the friends of the most high being commended for the gifts that come from learning. So they that are actually applying and using this wisdom, walking with, with well, walking with this wisdom, they're the true friends of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. They're showing forth that love towards this wisdom. And we show forth our love towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and this wisdom. All right. Uh, mainly, be, uh, mainly by what we're willing to sacrifice, what we're willing to give up. All right. The Lord knew Abraham loved uh, the heavenly father and feared him through what him willing to sacrifice what he loved the most being Isaac. Okay. So us being willing to sacrifice the different things that we might have cared about, lose different things that, hey, that shows forth that we truly love it, that we truly love Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And it ain't, it ain't about what we used to sacrifice, the love that we used to have, it's about the love that we're still showing, all right? You'll be like, yeah, you used to <laughs> buy me flowers and chocolate and this and that and the third, you don't do that for me no more. <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, uh, it's a, uh, it's a Eddie Murphy it's an Eddie Murphy uh, stand up back in the day. It might be uh, Eddie Murphy Raw, uh, Eddie Murphy Raw. But um, he was talking about how he had this uh, chick from uh, out of state or uh, out of the country. All right. And then she came back and then she was talking about, you know, at first she was humble, you know, and then she got around an American woman, American uh, lifestyle or, or whatever the case it may be. And then she was talking about, what have you done for me lately, Eddie? <laughs> what have you done for me lately, Eddie? Right. And so she was complaining about. Oh, you ain't treating me like this no more. Or you don't do you don't do nothing for me no more. And this and that and the third, complaining about it, right? Well, just applying it unto this. All right. What have we done for wisdom lately? What have we sacrificed for wisdom lately? Okay. What have we given up for wisdom lately? How have we shown forth our love towards this wisdom towards you? How about Shemi I was shy lately? All right. We got to keep that same energy. All right. So let's go to this in the book of um. Let me see if I finish this on Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs uh five and um, I'm gonna read 20 now. 
It says, and why would thou, and why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? All right. So we shouldn't be ravished with anything else. All right. Nothing else should captivate our mind like this wisdom. Okay. Nothing should have our heart like this wisdom has our heart, man. All right. We don't want anything else to, to choke us out. All right. Or get all, our hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and the cares of this life. All right. Our mind get focused on something else. And now Sophia is on the back burner. All right. Now you dragging to get to Sophia just to. All right. Just to, to <laughs> you know, like a little like, as if she's just some some side piece, man. Nah. All right. Everything else in this world, that's that's what you are. Right, right, give a little time here. Give a little time here. Whatever the case it may be. But this is the priority, man. All right. So let's grab this in the book of um, Songs of Songs. All right. Uh, chapter eight. That's the last chapter. Songs of uh, Solomon, Salakia, chapter eight and verse um, six. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which hath a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. Right. It says many waters cannot quench love. Now, you can liken those waters into the affliction. OK, the hell. OK, whatever, whatever case it may be, it says it shall not quench love. All right. And remember when you first came in, man, it didn't it didn't matter what it was. It didn't matter what you was going through, man. Jake, Jake didn't. Had all types of hell they went through, man, over this wisdom, all right? Eviction notices, man, okay? Suffered through all types of different things, man. Your, your, your family coming up against you, being forsaken, losing opportunities, man, all types of different things, man, but it didn't quench that love, all right? Didn't stop you from showing forth that love towards you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. Might have lost women that you cared about, man. Didn't quench this love, all right? A lot of the times, hey, it, it just added to the flame, all right. It was just toe. All right. Added to the flame, thrown in the fire. All right. Different things that was being sacrificed, man. All right. And only increase that flame that you have for, for this uh, wisdom, man. That'll never forsake you. All right. That won't leave you out there hanging, man. Nah, this, this wisdom, as long as you're showing that love towards her. All right. She gonna always be there for you, man. Okay. It says, um, Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man will give all the substance of his house for love, it would utterly be contemned. That's why you can't buy this love, man. All right, this is a gift from Yahweh by Shimei man. All right, and we want to continue to have that vehement flame, that vehement uh, desire for this was uh, for this woman, all right, being Sophia. And Sophia is just the, uh, the Greek word, or it's Greek or Latin. All right, but nevertheless, it's, um, it's, uh, uh, Sophia uh, means wisdom, all right? So, hey, man, this, this is the woman that we we going crazy for, man, all right, that we run out of our wits for. As a matter of fact, let's grab that in the book of uh, First Ezra. All right. This is uh, the book of First Ezra, uh, chapter four. Is it four? Okay, I'm tripping. I'm in uh, Second Ezra. All right, this is uh, First Ezra, chapter four, in verse... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start at verse uh, 19. No, no, I'm going to jump up. All right, this is, uh, I'm going to start at 15. It says, Woman have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by the sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men. These bring glory unto men, and without woman cannot men be. Now, we're going to apply this, this, uh, what he's speaking about woman, how women are strong, right? As far as can captivate the minds of men and so on and so forth to where men become servants for their sakes, as we're going to read down. Well, this is how we should be towards uh, towards this wisdom, towards Sophia, right? It says how what? Women have clothed men. Well, did not this wisdom clothe us? Okay. Are we not covered through this wisdom, man? Now we know who we are. Now we know how we're supposed to move everything, right? But it says... Um, these also make garments for men. These bring glory unto men. All right. And we read that in Wisdom of Solomon, how all riches came to me through her. So this woman, Sophia, is going to grant us all glory, man. It says, um, 
It says uh, in, uh, where am I at, Salakia? Yep, it says, and without women cannot men be, all right? And without this wisdom, all right, we can't be, man. We need this wisdom, okay? It says uh, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, it says, um, the Lord loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. And it says also, if a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. So if you ain't got this wisdom, you ain't shit to be playing. If you ain't got this wisdom, you're not even being looked at, okay? You're part of the multitude that's going to perish, man. And not only having this wisdom, applying this wisdom, man, okay? Because it goes beyond, oh, knowing about Sophia. Now nah, we got to be abiding with her. We got to be living with her, all right? We got to be invested, committed unto her, man. But it says, um, yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other good, goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go. So it's talking about how a man will let all his riches go. Okay? Silver, gold, he'll let all that go for a woman, man. All right? Once again, Jake is giving up opportunities, man. All right? Different careers where they could have made big bread. Gave all that up for this woman. All right? It says, um, do they not gape and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? And that's what happened, man. It's like we was living our lives doing all this, that, and the third, man. You know? You was headed this direction, man, and then you seeing her walk by. You was gaping like, God damn, who was that? You dropped everything. Now I got to have her. All right, I don't give a damn what I was doing. I got to have her, okay? That's how it was, man. Wisdom walked by, and we saw her, man. It reminds me about how they talk about Judith, man. All right, men were going to war, man. Judith walked by, man. The war stopped. People were just gazing at her, man. Beautiful woman. Well, that's the same thing, man. Hey, Jake stopped everything that they was doing, man. And, and was gaping at her, was intrigued with her. It's like, yeah, I'll give up everything for that as long as I can have her. And that's how I should continue to be with us in our spirit towards her, man. But it says, uh, it says, and letting all those things go, do they not gape and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? <laughs> and have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? A man leaveth his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleaveth unto his wife. So you forsook your family for, all right? And made her your wife, okay? People that you cared about at one point, man. It's like, hey, man, look, hey, it's me and her, all right? <laughs> I'm cleaving to her, she cleaving to me, and you going about your business, all right? It's like the whole world got shut out, man. It says, um, he sticketh not to spend his life with his wife, and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country, okay? You forget all that, man. Your family, then you got a new family coming into this faith, man. The true believers of Yahweh, Bashami, I was shy, man. All right? Even certain brothers had end up moving, okay? To a whole nother area, all right? Forsook the country you came up in, man. Well, hey, whatever, whatever the case it may be, man, these are all the things that brothers have done for this woman, and we got to continue to show that same energy. It says, um, it says, uh, verse 22, by this also, ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. So a man, he'll go through all this type of danger and turmoil. All right, for a woman, man, okay? Go do all that for a woman, all right? We got to have the same energy, man. I'll go through thick and thin, man. I'll follow the land with it, so wherever he go, speaking of Yahweh Shai, man, all right? All types of danger. Hazard my life for this, man, okay? For this woman. Choosing rather, rather to suffer anything for this woman, man. It says, um, it says, um, Wherefore, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. And that's what we did, man. All right, we ran out of our mind, okay? And really, okay, that's how the people perceive it. They're like, man, these niggas is crazy. They're out of their mind, man. Hey, they even said, Yahweh Shai, it his, his, uh, said that his uh, family, all right, it said that they looked at him as, uh, um, and said that he was beside himself, man. All right. When you look that up in other translations, all right, and you can look it up in the Greek, that's pretty much how they were saying Yahweh Shai was out of his mind, man. 
Well, you damn right. I'll, I'll be considered out of my mind for wisdom, man. Okay? You threw away everything, man. You could have did this and that and the third with your life. Yeah, I went out of my mind for wisdom, knowing that wisdom is going to bring me everything anyways, man. Okay? This wisdom is, 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 is that beautiful. All right? <laughs> She's that fine. <laughs> okay? She is that fine. All right? Threw everything away. Okay? <laughs> but it says... Uh, it says, uh, yea, many there be that run out of their wits for women and became servants for their sakes. And that's what happened, man. We brought our, our uh, we uh, came under her yoke, all right? We became a servant unto this wisdom, okay? Until you how about Shemiah was shy, ultimately, man. All right, but let's um, let's jump to this in Revelation, the second chapter, and we're going to end it off. Lord's will. This is Revelation chapter 2. All right, in verse... Um, <clears throat> Revelation chapter 2 and verse uh, 2. I know thy works and thy labor... And thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne and hast patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Right? So Yahweh Shai starts off commending them. All right, you did this, you doing that, you still doing this, man. You hear these niggas bringing out false doctrines, you hate them. All right, you correcting them. All right, so you doing particular things that's good that I'm delighted in, right? Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. All right. So there's a certain uh, 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 that that same love and desire and zeal that they might have had from the beginning. At some point that was lost down the line. So what did the Lord say, man? Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first work. So Yahweh Shai, he gave them a warning. It's like, look, I see that you lost that 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 same flame that you had had for uh, had for me. All right. <laughs> for wisdom. Right. Turn back to that. Repent. Give you a grace period to turn back. Get 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 that uh the uh keep your eyes single on me, man. Okay? Stay focused. All right, you can go through the motions, man. All right, you can go through the motions, do the bare minimum. All right. But yeah, how shy knows, man. Even though these men were doing particular things, all right, wherever their heart was at, they left their first love, man. So we want to make sure that we ain't caught up with yo, yeah, the spirit is on us to where we can. Be reading, all right, studying, okay? But our heart's not fully into it, man. So we want to be careful of that because that's a fearful thing, man. It says, um, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of this place except thou repent. All right, so that's scary, okay? <laughs> Ain't no way to put it. If you, don't, if you don't fear hearing them precepts, I don't know what to tell you, man, Okay? Cause I read that I'm like shit. I'm I'm doing I'm doing the work, all right. Through the Spirit and power, y'all by Shemiah, I was shot through His grace and mercy. The Lord has put the Spirit upon me to continue to do this work. But these men were doing the work as well, all right. So we got to continue to move in fear, y'all by Shemiah, I was shy, and let's not, you know, hey, the things that we did in the past that was beautiful. What you forsook in the past that was beautiful, all right. Let's continue to have that same type of energy, man. Within the proper balance of wisdom as the Lord has increased us in wisdom to uh, to move properly in this uh, present evil world, man. All right, but I'm going to end it right there, Lord, is what I was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.